I told you skits. Hello everyone, my name is Biscuit. Hi, welcome into my channel. Very happy to have you here. As you can see, I don't really have makeup on um, because of the movie we're gonna be checking out today. I was, I started to do my makeup and then I realized that I'm reacting to The Patriot and it's a war movie and my rate of crying to this type of movie is very high. So I was like, mm, yeah, maybe lay low with the makeup today because of that. I mean, for the stream and for all the other content I'll do, I'll continue doing my face, but in the meantime, Owls. It's quite on the long side of a movie, so make sure you have some snacks, you have drinks, and you are ready to watch this. Um, prepare yourself. I, this is how I usually uh, motivate myself, you know, I'm telling myself prepare yourself because I know, again, it's a war movie and those are really, really touching. I was told this is a Mel Gibson movie, so looking forward to that. For the full length reaction, for uh, a way to feel your three hours in your life there is a patreon where you can see the full length reaction um being reacting there you know the whole thing and of course you will get as well to join our community on patreon and for more content than i do i have a music reaction channel and of course i stream on twitch so if you want to see me more into like a live setting go check that out as well and um yeah if you guys are ready i am ready let's go yeah mel gibson there he is that my sins would return to visit me and the cost is more than I can bear the Patriot that looks peaceful fresh bread is the best bread like you can't tell me otherwise nine pounds 11 ounces that's perfect perfect someone is a perfection perfectionist I always wanted one of these children. Okay. Oh, she's so cute. That's a nice resting place. Still on the family property. Seems peaceful. That's her. North Star. And she'll always be looking down on us. They have so many kids. I think I counted like five until now it helps her no mother's there that's a good bigger sister that's a good bigger sister yes 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 i'm a big sister too mm. <laughs> i like it how they're trying to not be very you know obvious so what was in the mail <laughs> <laughs> The New York and Pennsylvania assemblies are debating independence. What about the middle colonies? In Chestertown, they burned the customs house and tar and feathered two magistrates. What does it say about the Continental Congress? It says here they'll make a declaration of independence by July. Well, the assembly's been convened, so I've been called to Charlestown. Town. We're going to Charlestown? <laughs> we are. We leave in the morning. Okay, what, what's happening with the other kids? They're all going? Oh, they're all going. Okay, okay. So they are four. They are not five. But this guy looks quite dashing. And I don't, I know that I know him from somewhere, but I don't know from where exactly. Three, four, five. No, oh, I did count it five. Six? She's still not talking? No. All right. Off with their heads. Harry Burwell is here recruiting. The governor has vowed if the assembly votes a single shilling to the Continental Army, he'll dissolve the body. Young people so hasty to go to war. Very well, children. Inside. I'm sorry. The heathens are. The heathens. They have long needed a woman in the Would would you like to be the new mom? The last time you saw me, I was 11, and you put ink in my tea. <laughs> it means he likes you. You all know why I'm here. I'm a soldier. And we are at war for the independence of one nation. Would you tell me, please, why should I trade one tyrant 3,000 miles away for 3,000 tyrants one mile away? Okay, okay. I understood you to be a patriot. Should the American colonies govern themselves independently? I believe they can, and they should. All right. 
But if you're asking me, am I willing to go to war with England? Well, then the answer is most definitely no. There are alternatives to war. I feel like only people that been to war can see the ugliness of the war itself and the loss. I have seven children. Seven, not five, My not wife is four. dead. Now, who's to care for them if I go to war? That's a very good question. This war will be fought not on the frontier, but amongst us, among our homes. On our their children territory. will learn of it with their own eyes, and the innocent will die with the rest of us. True words have been spoken right here. I uh, totally agree with that. I honestly, I support that. Family first, always. Do you intend to enlist without my permission? Yes. Yes, I do. When you have a family of your own, perhaps you'll understand. Oh, I don't have a family and I totally understand. When I have a family of my own, I won't hide behind them. Because, like, he is right. He goes to war and he dies. He's as imprudent as his father was. I'll see to it that he serves under me. Thomas, there are many seasons of... It was with great sadness that I learned of its recent fall to the British under General Cornwallis. Cornwallis? Of Cornwall, I bet? I received a letter from Aunt Charlotte telling me she had closed her home in Charlestown after the city fell. Here in the north, our campaign has been marked by defeat and privation. My good friend, Peter Cuppen, fell at Elizabethtown. His death has been difficult to bear. This was the time that people still write in, uh, wrote in cursive. Each day in prayer, I reaffirm my willingness, if necessary, to give my life in its service. Your loving brother, Gabriel. This was uh, his dad's, no? This is his dad's, actually. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing? <sighs> you are too young for this Actually, time. Thomas. 17. That's two years. It At 15, he want to go to war? He didn't lo lose his, his mind. That's, that's interesting. I would have flipped, probably. What happened at Fort Wilderness? Put it away. What do you think happened? Probably a lot of his friends died. He saw them die in front of him. That's marking a person. Please don't kill the horse. That's bad, guys. They're at our doorsteps. Back to the house. Come on. They're going to come. Quiet. Sit down. They are definitely going to come. Six pounders. How far away? Oh, they're a long way off there. Most likely heading the other direction. Let's hope. Oh my God. Put those in the house. Must I tell you again? <laughs> nope. His 15 year old son is uh, ready for some action, but um, I feel like, I feel like until you're not there, you, you don't know what you're ready for, right? They'll probably kill us men. And do Lord knows what to you women. Nathan. Nathan, um... Is this their brother, Gabriel? Slowly turn. Yeah. Father. What's the battle? Were you there? Jesus. Let's see. Okay, it's a, it's a, it's a cut. I have to get these dispatches to Hillsborough. You're in no position to ride. I can't stay here. It's not safe for... Okay, that's bad, guys. That's bad, bad. I can see how a house where you can find maybe shelter and food for even a night could be very appealing, right? It just looks chaotic. Doesn't really give me, like, some of that organized war war. Definitely more unprepared, let's just say. They're trying to help as many people as they can. That's scary. That is scary, knowing that your family is there. Thank you for the care of His Majesty's soldiers. So they took in the Brits? Fire the house and bombs. Rebel dispatches, sir. It's, it is just confusing for me. This. I'm trying to figure it out myself. Because he said his majesty. Wounded, these people gave me care. They have nothing to do with the dispatch. Take this one to Camden. Here's a spy. Hang him, put his body on display. This guy needs to be kicked in the balls multiple times. Oh, I see. It's your son. 
Well, perhaps you should have taught him something of loyalty. By the rules of war. The rules of war. Would you like a lesson, sir, in the rules of war? Or perhaps your children will. This guy, man. What the hell? Who is threatening someone else's kids? Are you crazy? What of the rebel wounded? Kill him. Kill him. Wow. Why did you even ask? Are you crazy? But this whole whole deal is a little bit complicated for me because I'm I'm yeah, like I said, history is not the easiest. Now you made him mad. Are you happy? He's gonna take your head for this. Stupid boy. He just tried to save his brother. I understand that, but so the dragoons is like the British army. Them, like where Gabriel is, the fight for the American independence. So that's why they call them the rebels that escaped, right? I, I think. First of all, you destroyed their house, their lands and everyone. Then you killed his son and you took the other son to hang. All of you stay here. Yeah, he's gonna definitely go and get his axe and his uniform. Nathan, Samuel. Oh, that he was not Nat Nathan. Nat Nat that name is killing me. Nathaniel. No, Nathan. Nathan. Hide in the fields with William and Susan. If we're not back by sunset, I want you to take him to your. All right. I guess off we go. What, one can be something like 13 and the other one 11? Cannot be older than that, right? I'll fire first. I want you two to start with the officers and work your way down. Yes, father. Yes, father. Good. What did I tell you fellas about shooting? Aim small, small, miss small. small. Aim small, miss small. No pressure. I think kids this young shouldn't use a weapon, but I guess in times like this, Better to know it than to not, right? They are a little bit in a disadvantage, I would say. But uh, we have more advantage with the terrain and our position. I think the fact that he has multiple weapons set in three different spaces is as well to div give different positions. Yeah, you see behind you, behind you, and then the kids are just shooting from the other side. It's more like a diversion. With these older weapons, it did take a little bit to like reload them, right? He's going with that axe. Like there is no tomorrow. Bull bullseye. He went for it. Wow. Okay. I I I I I think he's dead. I'm quite quite <laughs> sure he's dead. And now you know, kids, why your dad uh, doesn't go to wars. Oh, next to his mom. This guy. We need to fix this dude, ASAP. Now, twenty of His Majesty's soldiers are dead. And I need to know how. Well, some of them being shot, some of them with an axe. Don't really remember how many. Maybe one. Puh! One man. <laughs> really? He was on the flank. Sounds more like Poof. a ghost than a man. Yes. Let's see if we can't capture this ghost before word of his exploits spread. Who's this? Sir, this is Captain Wilkins. Another colonial. Our uh, psycho has trust issues. You're safe now. Try to sleep. Good Poor night. them. You saw your house being set on flames. Your brother was shot. Your other brother was injured. Samuel. Uh oh. The smaller one didn't really take it too well. You've done nothing for which you should be ashamed. I've done nothing. And for that, I am ashamed. To save his kid, the one that got shot. Hair down, guys. You all know what this means. Seduction time. That's a freed slave island just north of Charlestown. It'll be right under the British noses. They won't even think of looking. I'm joining up with them. 
I mean, didn't you not have enough? Are you crazy? I'm a soldier, it's my duty. Your duty is to your family. Don't you walk away from me, boy. You to go. I'm not a child, you're my child. Thomas is dead. How many more have to die before you'll heed my word? All of them. Because it's not about his family being alive or not. I don't get it. I mean, I get it, but I don't, you know? Now maybe because I'm a, I'm a girl as well. Will you be back, father? I don't know. Poor him. Take care of your brothers and sisters and your aunt Charlotte. I'm dependent on. He's the man of the family now. So basically, he's going after his son, yes? Oh, she's so cute. Why is there music playing? I guess, I guess it's really important to have music. When you, when you go to war. I'm not going back. What type of war is this though? We meet in the middle of the field and we just shoot at each other. The gates is a damn fool. Going muzzle to muzzle with red coats in open field. It's madness. Yeah, thank you so much. Oh my God. This is just like a st static target. It's like, just shoot at me. Just put a sign on your head. Here, shoot here. They have cannons. Wow. Hello, General. Gentlemen. Next time, you'll wait for my command. It's a lost cause. Not a lost cause, just a battle fought bad. Benjamin Martin. What are my orders? We're a breath away from losing this war, Benjamin. So now there's nothing to stop him from... Heading north to finish off Washington. Unless we can keep Cornwallis in the south till the French arrive. They promised a fleet and 10,000 troops. They're just, they're just lucky that the French hates the British more than anyone else. You actually trust the French to keep their word? Absolutely. Major Jean Villeneuve, French 7th Lightfoot, is here to help train the militia. You really expect to hold Cornwallis here using just militia? Might I request, sir, that you transfer my son here under my command? Of sir, course. No, I, no, that's done. <laughs> Cute. He also taught you every deer path and swamp trail between here and Charlestown, which is why I asked for your transfer. Terrain. Put them all ground if we split up. Very well, Corporal. The young pup wants his independence as well. He wants. He wants to do a name for himself, and I can. I understand that. You have children. <laughs> I would take that as a no. If you want someone on your side in a war, you want the French. Posing land ground, my lord. You will be a country unto yourself. Are they giving territory to each other just like that? And we must conduct ourselves accordingly. They don't like his behavior. These brutal tactics must stop. These colonials are our brethren. And when this conflict is over, we will reestablish commerce with them. Can't establish commerce with someone that's dead. They, they, they are singing in churches, but no one had time to take those poor kids from the tree. The South Carolina militia is being called up. I'm here to enlist every man willing. And bring more suffering to this town? Half the men in this church, including you, Father, and you, Reverend, are as ardent patriots as I. Then stand up and fight. Will you now, when you are needed most, stop at only words? But she makes a great point. I ask only that you act upon the beliefs of which you have so strongly spoken and in which you so strongly believe. Who's with us? Come on. If you can bark, you can retrieve the bone. Now can you not? Or you can just bark. Slowly, slowly, one by one, they're all standing. May I have permission to write Anne? Yes. <laughs> oh, ride her. Yes, sir. To ride her? <laughs> My dirty mind. Don't, don't mind me, guys. The shepherd must tend his flock. Good. That's it? That's the whole flock? Seven men? I thought the flock was bigger. Are you sure this is the right place to recruit for a militia? Why not? It's a bar. There are men. God save King George! All right. They are our men then. <laughs> I think 
we came to the right place. <laughs> yes. I think so too. Can you write? No, 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 sir. Well, then make your mark. I just signed him over to you. Shh. If you're willing, I'd like you to make your mark. I signed him over to you. What are you doing, little kid here? I believe you would. There's a story going around about some 20 redcoats got killed by a ghost or some damn thing. I don't know anything about it. Cherokee them. tomahawk. Mm. Aren't you a little old to be believing a ghost story? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if I'm ready for slave movies. Oh yeah, my question was, if the red coats are the Brits, does that make our army the blue coats? Bullets? He's making bullets? These men, they're not the sort we need. They're exactly the sort we need. What about me? Am I one of that sort? Hell no. You're the sort that gives that sort a bad name. <laughs> I like his laugh a lot, it's kind of cute. And I love the meaning behind his bullets now, seeing that he made make them from um, his son's soldier's toys. We're finally using the terrain, wow. Our fight is against this, this guy, I forgot his name, something Colonel Tovorovovov. Dear Anne, I long to see you. I'm hopeful that our duties will bring me near you. I am and will remain most affectionately yours. Gabriel, oh wow, ah, Gabriel. We surrender! We surrender! Oh, for the love of God, we... These men were about to surrender! There are no surrendering in war. We are better men than that. He's right. We're militia. This is not regular army. <laughs> Hell, you think all this is worth? Portugal's correspondence of Lord Cornwallis. Well, well, well. Treasure. This is his journal. But I don't like the idea of giving muskets to slaves. Your sense of freedom is as pale as your skin. I'm ready to punch him in the nose again. Don't listen to them. If we win this war, a lot of things will change. What will change? A world where all men are created equal under God. Sounds good. Yeah, it does sound good. And I'm in 2024. Lord Cornwallis knows more about warfare than we could hope to learn in a dozen lifetimes. And he knows it, what's more. And perhaps that's his weakness. Pride's a weakness. Pride is definitely, First if you can me, exploit it. Stupidity. <laughs> me too, I prefer stupidity. <laughs> Pride will do. <laughs> wow, tell me you have money without telling me you have money. Am I still here in Middleton Place attending a ball in South Carolina when I should be attending balls in North Carolina? My lord, they won't fight like regulars. We can't find them. Colonel. They're militia. They're farmers with pitchforks. They're rather more than that, I'm afraid, my lord. He is underestimating pitchforks and torches? Fine soldier, you are bested by a bedtime story. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Our supply ship appears to have arrived. Then why am I still wearing this rag? These guys complaining more than I do. That's, that's something. <laughs> Let me unload your beautiful. You look good in that color. The beast took your dogs as well. Not the dogs. Is there no decency? <laughs> there is your decency. Fireworks! <laughs> you don't look like a clown. You are a clown. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Mr. Howard? I've come to call on Anne. Well, of course you call yourself a man. Father, stop it. You heard him. Yeah, he did. I think he heard it for the very first time when he said that he want to ride you. <laughs> Don't mind me. I, um, I feel funny today. <laughs> I, I think bundling bags are a wonderful tradition. Wait. So for him to sleep there, he needs to be in this closed-up blankie? What if he needs to pee? Yeah, give him tea. Let's see what's happening when he needs to pee. It's very good. Oh my god, she got him back. I'm pleased that you like it. Good for her. More power to her. You're just gonna stand there. Why don't you read it for us? I can't read. <laughs> Stop making fun of him! Right now! All bound slaves who give minimum one 
will be granted freedom. First they're gonna free him, and then they're gonna pay him. What in the hell are you gonna do with freedom? Punch you in the face. I will do it for him for free. Sure reminds me a lot of you. No, no, no. no. He's more like his mother. <laughs> I think this is like the uh, Scooby-Doo dog. A great Dane. <laughs> This road is closed. These wagons now belong to the Continental Army. Look at them, look at them. Hi! It's us. Hmm. But I advise you and your men to make way. It was a trap. It was a Trojan horse. That was a big loss. Trust me soon. My countrymen will arrive. The French army. The hell with you. And the hell with the French army. We don't need them. We got Benjamin Martin. I know what he done to the French. Wherever you go, men, buy you drinks because of what happened to Fort Wilderness. Strangers know more about you than I do. The French and the Cherokee had raided along the Blue Ridge. The English settlers had sought refuge at Fort Charles. By the time we got there, what we found was. Massacre. They killed all the settlers. We buried them all, look, what was left of them. We caught up with them at Fort Wilderness. We cut them apart, slowly. I could still hear their screams. We placed the heads on a pallet, sent them down the ash load of the Cherokee. Soon after, the Cherokee broke their treaty with the French. That's how we justified it. Cherokees are like the American, the native ones, right? And not a day goes by where I don't ask God's forgiveness for what I did. Someone is approaching. Oh. They're gonna be hung one at a time until I give up the rest of them. My lord, there is a rider that is a civilian carrying a white flag. And he got your dogs. He has a pair of dogs with him. <laughs> Great Danes. General Lord Cornwallis will be with you shortly. Look at these doggos, they're kind of precious, but can you imagine them poop? Like the size of the poop? <laughs> he was trying to make one at the beginning of the movie. How? Jupiter, Mars, come boys, come. Yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid I, uh, I don't know your name. I'm a colonel with the Continental Army. My rank should be sufficient for now. You have in your possession certain belongings of mine, including, uh... He wants his journals, basically. I will do so as soon as possible. Uh, Colonel, you must know that in civilized warfare... Restrain them from, say, targeting civilians, women, children, and such. Like your Colonel Tovarov. That's a separate issue. No, no, no. I consider them linked. And as long as your soldiers attack civilians, I will order the shooting of officers at the outset of every engagement. You have 18 of my men. I want them back. Eighteen criminals under sentence criminals? of death, but I, I hold no prisoners of war. If that's your position, eighteen of your officers will have to die. My officers. I like it that he's playing this gentleman game. Their names and ranks? They refuse to give me their names, but their ranks are nine lieutenants, five captains, three majors, and one very fat colonel who called me a cheeky fellow. <laughs> you know, this is not the conduct of a gentleman. What do you mean? If the conduct of your officers is the measure of a gentleman. He came to you with your dogs. Arrange the exchange. He came in, got the dogs. <laughs> no, the dogs wanted to go with him. We are coming for your head, you little shit. You're you're going down. Been under a white flag for formal parley. <laughs> Hence, he cannot be touched. Parley. I remember you, and that farm, that stupid little boy. He's trying to bait. Did he die? Oh, no, 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 no. It's an ugly business doing one's duty. But just occasionally, it's a real pleasure. Do not bite. Before this war is over, I'm going to kill you. Good. <laughs> His dogs! <laughs> oh, my lord. Nice. I love that. <laughs> he got his men and his dogs. <laughs> Good. I love that. One of our captured officers, my lord. 
Quite impressive for a farmer with a pitchfork. Genius. I can capture him for you. Seven miles from Wakefield, on the Santee, east of Black Swamp. Who lived there? Benjamin Martin. Does he have family? Where would he hide his children? So you might be a slimy shit, but are you that slimy shit that you give up kids? His wife's sister has a plantation. Yeah, you are. You're a slimy shit. Got it. Get the boys. Sam, get down with mask. Okay, now ha we have to be sneaky. Sneaky and quiet. Sneaky and quiet, everyone. There's no one in the house, sir. We can't be far. They are just setting this beautiful building on, on fire like idiots. Where's father? Look at these beautiful houses. How dare they? They are a di diversion. Where is father? Oh, she talked! For months now. <laughs> For months. He didn't want those mean men to find you, so he led them away. Oh, I hate him. Does she hate him because he left? Is that the reason? Abigail! <laughs> You're lying! Life is so unfair sometimes. You know, it's not much, but you can stay here with me. It's beautiful. Yeah. That's only that's the only acceptable answer. It's beautiful and thank you. She spoke. Susan talked to you. Damn, I wasn't there for it. <laughs> what did she say? That she misses you very much. That she loves you. <laughs> uh, Cavington has a list of our men. He's burning our homes, killing whomever resists. Oh. No, come on. How can one do this? Like I understand, I understand war, men shooting men or whatever, but you shoot at, at civilians and at, at women and children that are un, like not even, def you know? No, no! Attend to your families. One week furlough for all men. Any man who does not return will not be thought a coward or uncommitted. <laughs> My God, they're huge. What have you been feeding? From good stock on their father. <laughs> Susan? That's a, you know, for him it's a shocking behavior, I assume, especially that Gabriel said to him that uh, she loves him and misses him. But that kid is traumatized. Father, what changed you? Probably his kids. Are you sure I have? You changed. Well, that's simple. It was your mother. I had trouble breathing around your mother. That's so sweet. I know the feeling. Aww, look at him being in love. When I had a family of my own that I'd understand, you were right. Usually parents are something. right in general as a conclusion. Will you have this man to be your husband to live in the covenant of marriage for so long as you both shall live? I do. I will. Oh, okay. Shall live? I will. I will. Okay, this guy, you know, second time I got it. I now pronounce you man and wife. Wait. <laughs> Why man and wife, not husband and wife? Why the man's status doesn't change? He was man to begin with. He is still man. Belong to Gabriel's mother. Oh, it's beautiful. That's it's so the North star. sweet. That's the only star in the sky that never moves. Oh, 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 oh! We are going for uh, the sister-in-law. Are you well, gonna what? ask me out? Are you gonna kiss now? Oh, oh, oh we are kissing. Oh. Take her by the nape of the neck and let's go. Goodbye. Are they gonna kiss in front of the kids? <gasps> Hi. Bye, Susan. All right. That must be painful. Papa. Papa, don't go. Say anything. I told you, it's kids. I don't like kids crying like that. You know, you make me very happy. That was really nice, right, guys? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I got another two months to go before I get to 12. <laughs> 
That's... That looks bad. Oh my god, this guy just entered with a horse in the church. This town has given aid to Benjamin Martin and his rebels. I wish to know his whereabouts. This man gives Martin and his men supplies. Quiet! Shut the doors. Congratulations, dumbass! Burn the church. There's no honor in this. Really? The Mars, the, usually, uh, with churches, there is like an altar, and under the altar, it's usually like a passage. I mean, in most of all other movies that I watched, was the case, so. If they can sleep at night after this. They're not, they're not here. He knows. He just saw the lock on the door. Oh, the pendant. So let me know in the comment section how close to the actual events or if this ever happened. Gabriel's gone. Yes, make yourself pretty. Maybe you can get one of those infections on your face. Shoot him! Oh, this guy needs to get it. Oh no, Revenant! You could have, you had a clean shot. He had a clean shot all along. Shoot! Good. Good for you, Gabriel. I just didn't like the way he fell because he fell on his gun. So if right now he turns him and this guy still has a little bit of adrenaline left, he can shoot him. He has a clear... <laughs> not surprised. I am not surprised. I was expecting this and I told you even why I was expecting it. By the way he fell. And because he's a slimy weasel. You should always aim for the head. And if you didn't hit him in the head, you shoot again. Father, I'm sorry about Thomas. Oh, son, that wasn't your fault. That was mine. Don't he's go. gone. Gabriel, don't. <laughs> I believe that in this period with the civil war and everything, a lot of family lost members, right? I help you bury him. My wife in Alexandria is with child. I fight for that child. Benjamin, nothing will replace your sons. But if you come with us, you can justify their sacrifice. Why? Why do men feel they can justify death? I have long feared that my sins would return to visit me. Stay with us. Stay the course. I have run my course. He already lost so much. Bouncing back, it's it's gonna be very difficult for him. It's just sad, right, that people that young end up dead before their time, for sure. He was patching it. I feel like Mel Gibson really likes to uplift the spirits. <laughs> The flag barrier. I stand on the eve of the greatest victory of my career. Don't fail me. I grant you that small measure, in spite of your failure to deliver the ghost to me. This guy just want to take all of his credit for himself while he I stays in the tent. I tolerate a premature charge born of your eagerness for glory. Oh, he just stays in his freaking tent. What a guy, right? Excuse me, sir. I believe you underestimate our militia. We've seen our militia lines break time and again. Yeah, because your militia is not trained. What are you suggesting, Ben? I'm suggesting we use that. Finally, someone is strategizing. One bullet is all you need. The last one for sure is gonna meet its marker. Mark. Mark. The last bullet is gonna meet its mark. If I die, I will die well dressed. <laughs> the French. It's October now. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's more than 12 months. It is. You're a free man. 
But he's fighting for the free I'm country. Here now on my own accord. I'm honored to have you with us. I believe I see militia forming at their center. Battalion! I wonder what what's the reason for them shooting cannon shots there. Are they checking for traps or like what's the is it an intimidation tactic or some some stuff like this? Take it! Someone needs to explain this to me because I really don't understand it. Oh my god, like, 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 like bowling. Why? Like, we haven't been given that order. Havington. Damn him. Send the entire battalion over that hill and crush them. It ends today. Surprise! Peach. The militia is, is, is carrying this battle hard, like 100%. I don't even want to hear anything else. Chaos and mayhem. A choice has to be made. He threw his gun so he can hold the flag. Sometimes you just need a little bit of a spirit, you know? Militia for the win! I'll beat you with this flag. Use it as a spear. Not the horse! But maybe he can break his neck or something. I am Romanian, we know a few things about impalements. Shoot him in the head. His arm. His arm? Go beat him with the gun. Oh, okay, he has our arm too now. Now it's an arm for an arm. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Our axe flew to Jesus. Okay, but we got a gun. We deflated, and now he cuts again on our back. Maybe we can use the same strategy as Tovorovovo used when he killed Gabriel, you know? Because you saw we have a bayonet. Kill me before the war is over, will you? The better man. An eye for an eye, how does it feel? You're right. My sons were better men. <laughs> Choke on your blood. Yeah, I approved. Sign the retreat. <laughs> Dear Charlotte, the war has turned. George Washington surrounded Cornwallis, who could not retreat to the sea that was blocked off by our long lost friends who had finally arrived. The French! Bonjour! Vive la France! Vive la France! I'm here with my Vive tanks! La Vive la liberté! With the war ending, I take measure of what we have lost. My hope and prayer is that the sacrifices borne by so many will spawn and fulfill the promise of our new nation. Tell the children, and especially Susan, that I will keep my promise. Uh, your wife's expecting a child soon, isn't she? What'd you name him? Gabriel. We named him Gabriel. Nice. I like that. Gabriel is a, it's a good name for a farmer. It is. <laughs> His dogs. <laughs> That's a three-store uh, house. <laughs> it's a mansion. It was very nice. I liked. It definitely made me a little bit emotional here and there. And there were th th there were some scenes that were very touching as well. Now I don't know because what I know about the Independence War was that the French had a little bit more involvement in there. Like they were more implicated. And uh, yeah, I feel like in this movie was not really shown that much that I mean, just a little bit at the end mentioning oh they came and they kept their word and they helped us. I think it was interesting the way it was portrayed and the, the fact that they uh, like focused as well on one family and showed, um, you know, from the family perspective as well, how the civil war affected them. I would give this movie like a four star. 
I when when I first heard the Patriot, I was thinking it's like one of those war movies, you know. I was expecting something like Black Hawk Down or I, I don't know something similar, right? Uh, Saving Private Ryan. And I was like mentally ready. I recently finished the Pacific, so I was like maybe it's too early to do this. So um, um I was ple um, I am pleasant surprised that it was not that much war and more like what led to the war and how you know fighting behind and being a gentleman and being not a gentleman and what my question was like in regards with the with the fighting style in regards with go there in the middle and just shoot at each other i mean it was 100 percent sure that at least some the first row will die right i need to understand the reasoning the tactic behind it i don't see it i know this was not the purpose of the movie but i kind of like stuck on that because of my mind and my curiosity in general i enjoyed watching this and i do hope you guys enjoy watching the reaction there is a full length reaction on my patreon the link is in the description below thank you so much for being here and i hope to see you next time Bye bye